Hare Krishna. As we know, the cow is beneficial because one can draw religious principles from her. She was now rendered poor and cuffless. Her legs were being beaten by a sudra. There were tears in her eyes and she was distressed and weak. She was hankering after some grass in the field. Chapter 17, Bhagavatam says, Bhagavatam talks about the protection of cows. And here, Sutta Goswami said that after reaching that place Maharaja Parikshit observed that a lower caste sudra dressed like a king was beating a cow and a bull with a club as if they had no owner. Sutta Goswami says the principal sign of the age of Kali is that lower caste sudra Men without Brahminical culture and spiritual initiation will be dressed like administrators or kings and the principal business of such non-Kshatriya rulers will be to kill the innocent animals, especially the cows and the bulls, who shall be unprotected by their masters. Protection of bulls and cows and all other animals can be possible only when there is a state ruled by an executive head like Maharaja Parikshit. And here Maharaja Parikshit addresses the cow as mother for he is a cultured Twice born Kshatriya king. Shurabi is the name of the cows which exist in the spiritual planets and are specially reared by Lord Krishna himself. As men are made after the form and feature of the Supreme Lord, so also the cows are made after the form and features of the Surabhi cows in the spiritual kingdom. In the material world, the human society gives all protections to the human being, but there is no law to protect the descendants of Surabhi, who can give all protection to men by supplying the miracle food milk but Maharaja Parikshit but Maharaja Parikshit and the Pandavas were fully conscious of the importance of the cow and bull and they were prepared to punish the cow killer with all chastisement including death there has sometimes been agitation for the protection of the cow. But for want to pious executive heads, executive heads and suitable laws, the cow and the bull are not given protection. The human society should recognize the importance of the cow and the bull and thus give all protection to these important animals. Following in the footsteps of Maharaja Parikshit for protecting the cows and Brahminical culture, the Lord who is very kind, who is very kind to the cow and the Brahmanas will be pleased with us and will bestow upon us real peace.